Magandang agham Pilipinas! Welcome po sa Diwas TV Facebook page at YouTube channel. Ito ang programang una sa mga napapanong balita tungkol sa agham. Teknoloy at inovasyon para sa bayan. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang ating balitaan kasama ang ating tumatayong OIC ng DOST at ng DOST FIVOX na si DOST Undersecretary Renato Yusuludum Jr. Magandang ang gampo, Yusik Rene. Magandang agham din sa Yonin at sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Oras na para magibalita sa mga updates tungkol sa agham at teknolohiya sa mga rehiyon at sa buong bansa. Mula mismo kay Yusek Rene. Salamat Onin. Umpisa na natin sa mga balitang may kinalaman sa kalusugan. The first report would be on the Virology Institute of the Philippines program conducting planning workshop. The Industrial Technology Development Institute or DOST ITDI organized the first planning workshop meeting for the Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines VIP program in New Clark City, Kapas Tarlac on 18 to 19 July, 2022. The meeting was attended by the DOST sectorial planning councils, the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development, or PCARD, Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, or PCHRD, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development, or PSHEARD, and the National Research Council of the Philippines. The DOST councils highlighted the VIP projects they intend to have and their initiatives in the field of virology. Nine topics were chosen for the breakout session. Diagnostics, vaccines, therapeutics, basic research, infrastructure, biosafety, policy, and the passage of the VIP bill, budget and administration, technology transfer, and international collaboration and networking. The participants brainstormed about the accomplishments and plans per area, especially in diagnostics, vaccines, therapeutics, and basic research, which are the core of the BIP program. The gaps, challenges, and priorities were also identified per category. The budget training and collaborative plans were also emphasized. After the brainstorming, the information gathered was given and presented to the group the following day. The next item would be DOST FNRI participating in a meeting with serial partners worldwide at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Food and Nutrition Research Institute or DOST FNRI attended an international meeting with serial partners worldwide at Taylor's University in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia from 18 to 21 July, 2022. FNRI Director Dr. Imelda Angeles Adepa joined the meeting as the project leader of the nutritional contribution of breakfast in the Philippines and development of nutrient recommendations for breakfast in Southeast Asia. The meeting discussed the key findings for its participating country, finalization of the content and submission for outstanding papers, development of key principles for a Southeast Asian breakfast recommendation, and agreement on the outline for the Asia recommendation paper. The next project would be the RX Box, Advancing Rural Health Service in Tudela, Misamis, Occidental. The OST Region 10, through the Provincial Science and Technology Center, Misamis, Occidental, delivered one unit of RX Box device to Rural Health Unit of Tudela on June 14, 2022. Through RX Box, health workers in Tudela can diagnose monitor and treat patients within the rural health facility. The Tudela Rural Health Unit expressed its gratitude for the health device provided to their unit because diagnostic procedures for their patients are made easy and accessible, particularly for the elderly and pregnant women. Since it was rolled out in June 2022 up to present, RxBox has been gaining positive feedback throughout the region for its real-time, reliable diagnostic result and even for its enabling feature to get advice from healthcare experts via the internet to clinical specialists across the country. And for the last health-related report, DOSD NCR continuing to deploy RX box devices to healthcare institutions in Metro Manila. DOSD NCR turned over one unit of RX box device 
the Tomana Health Center and Lion Clinic in Marikina City on 19 July 2022. RxBox is one of DOST's health innovation efforts, which has several functionalities, such as blood pressure monitor, pulse oximeter, ECG, fetal heart monitor, maternal tachometer, and temperature sensor. It is aimed at providing better access to life-saving healthcare services in geographically isolated and disadvantaged communities nationwide. A training on the proper usage and management of the equipment was also facilitated by DOSD NCR in partnership with speakers from the University of the Philippines National Telehealth Center from July 19 to 20. Barangay health workers and nurses of the said clinic attended the event. DOSD NCR Regional Director Jose Patanen Hog III personally handed over the RX box unit to Dr. Cecilino Mariano, OIC and Rural Health Physician of the said clinic. Narito naman ang mga balitang may kinalaman sa kabuhayan. Memorandum of Agreement on Technology Business Incubation, or TBI, between DOST, PTRI, and Biomanila Incorporated. The Philippine Textile Research Institute, or DOST, PTRI, has commenced training sessions on scaled-up natural dyeing in their Nat Dye Center with Biomanila Incorporated staff over the week. Participants of the training were able to make use of natural dyes to color the fabrics and apparel using the technology and facilities provided by DOST PTRI. This is part of PTRI's technology business incubation program that aims to speed up the adoption of textile technology by startups and enterprises. Bio Manila is a local homegrown brand, marketer and manufacturer of clothing and other wearables for retail in the Philippines market. With a consciousness for high value addition to local communities and the circular economy, Bio shares the perspectives and aspirations of DOST PTRI. The Memorandum of Agreement on Technology Business Incubation between PTRI and Bio Manila Incorporated affirmed both parties' subscription to a shared sustainability initiative into the use of eco-friendly materials and processes for current business in apparel manufacturing. The next item would be DOST Regional Standards and Testing Laboratory conducting water sampling to four new communities of CEST. Addressing the basic need for potable water is one of the major concerns of CEST, which is why the DOST's Regional Standards and Testing Laboratory, RSDL, conducted water sampling to four new communities of CEST with a total of 165 chemical and microbial test analysis corresponding to around 318,000 pesos in total value of assistance. And to ensure that the beneficiaries are drinking safe water, 130 pieces Sawyer Buck filter were distributed to households and schools in Karasi, Ilocos Norte, and Agno, Pangasinan. On the other hand, the Regional Metrology Laboratory, RML, provided 317 mass and volume calibration services to 252 clients with a total value assistance of around 107,000 pesos. Without the steadfast assistance of partners from state university and colleges, local government units, national government agencies, and non-government organizations, the CES team could not have succeeded in these endeavors in the preceding years. The next report would be DOST-3 inking partnership with Dolly RTWPB-3 for MSME development. The DOST Region 3 and the Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board of Central Luzon have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to accelerate the development and productivity of micro, small, and medium enterprises last 20 July 2022. DOST 3 Regional Director Julius Cesar Sikat and Dolly 3 and RTWPB Wage Board Chairperson Geraldine M. Panillo signed the MOU with the objective of providing MSMEs with productivity trainings, technical assistance, as well as capacity building activities to help them comply with regulatory standards through support programs that complement each other. The said event marked the first engagement of DOSD with RTWPB 
which is expected to pave the way for lots of opportunities for collaboration. The next item would be Undersecretary Maborang visiting DOST assisted projects in Metro Manila. DOST Undersecretary for Regional Operations, Engineer Sancho Maborang, and DOST NCR Regional Director Jose Patel Hog III led a productive two day project visit to several DOST assisted establishments and institutions in Metro Manila on 21 to 22 July 2022. Projects in the Muntinlupa, Taguig, Pateras, Paranaque, and Las Piñas or Munta Paralas area were visited during the first day, and these include the Balut of Pateros, Kerbis Bread House, Tipas Hopia, and Colegio de Montenlupa's equipment design and prototyping facility. Moreover, the proposed establishment of a science, technology, and innovation corridor was also discussed. On the second day, the team visited the DOST assisted firms in the passing Mandaluyong, Marikin, and San Juan or Pumamarisan area. Some of these include the Arete Foods Corporation, Gibson Shoes, Iria Shoes, and Chef Mechanics Lami Chicharon. The visit was part of DOST NCR's initiative in assessing the impact of SNT interventions and technologies which were provided to various DOST program and project beneficiary communities, academic institutions, private establishments, and local government units in the NCR. The next item would be on the Kapeng Lumad in Gingoo, boosting income with DOST setup. Kapeng Lumad, a rising coffee producer from Gingoo, Misamis Oriental, has recently recorded 150% increase in sales after availing of the setup program of DOST in 2020. The firm was approved for the acquisition of a coffee roaster, filling machine, and nutrition analysis for three of their coffee products. The setup intervention capacitated the production process of the firm to improve its productivity. With better equipment, the production process of coffee beans is reduced from 16 hours to two hours and 30 minutes. Their average production volume in a year has increased by 363%. This led to a 150% increase in sales. Furthermore, the firm was able to add four workers and expand their market to as far as Butuan, Marawi, Negros Oriental, Cebu, Davao, Lipa in Batanga, Sambuanga, and Palawan. Our Sons and Company Incorporated have developed its coffee brand Kapeng Lumad since 2012. In 2014, the firm pioneered a coffee shop in Dongog City, the Bittersweet Cafe. The next item would be Picard conducting inception meeting on small island communities in the Nahon Bank. The inception meeting for the project titled Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Small-Scale Fisher Folk in small island communities in the Nahon Bank, Central Philippines, was conducted on 18 July 2022. The project is spearheaded by Dr. Jess Relan, Aaron Ampere of Bohol Island State University, Kandihai Campus. It aims to examine the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on small scale fisher folk in the Nahon Bank, Central Philippines. These will draw lessons and recommendations for policy responses and other interventions to build resilience of the small-scale fishery sector with a small island community setting. The following are some of the recommendations during the review. Document policies that have transpired, translated locally, received and implemented on the ground during the pandemic, monitor anticipated effect versus the actual effects of COVID-19, and the adaptive mechanisms of the local community in the area and to describe the unique features or characteristics and challenges of the small island communities that makes them vulnerable to the impacts of COVID-19. The next report would be on DOST ITDI co-authoring a published article on the conduct of a proficiency test for additives in food sauce. A journal article entitled Efficient Delivery of Metrological Services by institutes through accuracy-based proficiency testing program on additives in food sauce for laboratories in the Southeast Asian region was published in the 27th volume of the Accreditation and Quality Assurance Journal on 16 July 2022. The article was co-written by five metrology institutes, 
namely Health Sciences Authority of Singapore, Thailand's Institute of Scientific and Technological Research, DOSD ITDI, National Measurement Standards, National Standardization Agency of Indonesia, and Department of Chemistry of Malaysia. The journal article details the collaborative efforts of the said institutes to organize a proficiency testing program for additives in food sauce to assess their performance and build the capacities of the participating laboratories throughout the Southeast Asian region. 39 laboratories participated in the said proficiency testing scheme, six of which came from the Philippines. At ang last report natin sa kabuhayan, Technology Transfer Program of Forest Products Research and Development Institute. A team from Forest Products Research and Development Institute, or DOSD FPRDI, conducted a field testing or validation of the FPRDI octagonal jointing system for bamboo poles from 18 to 22 July 2022. The activity was in partnership with Kawayan Collective, a bamboo-based enterprise engaged in sustainable housing alternatives. The project's main objective is to test the viability of the institute developed jointing system in application to bamboo structures at a user environment setting. The collaboration is expected to lead to a better understanding of the technology's commercial potential towards the eventual commercialization and technology transfer. The partnership was also made possible through the help of DOST Region 7, particularly the provincial SNT Center of Negros Oriental. Sa ating pagbabalik, patuloy tayo makikibalita kay Yusek Rene para sa mga updates tungkol sa agham at teknolohiya sa mga riyon at sa buong bansa na may kinalaman sa kaayusan at kinabukasan. Huwag po kayong bibitiw, magbabalik pa ang DOST Report. The Philippines' agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources sector are full of potential, but it faces big challenges, especially in bringing the technologies to their intended users. In March 2016, DOST Picard established the DOST Picard Innovation and Technology Center, or the DPITC, which was designed to deliver quality services on intellectual property management and technology commercialization. In the five years since the establishment of the DPITC, we have strengthened ties and forged new alliances with almost 100 local and international partner institutions. Kay po'y nakatutok sa DOST Report. Mas marami pang balita mula sa mundo ng gam at teknolohiyang ating pag-uusapan. Alamin natin yan mismo kay Yusek Rene. Salamat Onin. Dumako naman tayo sa kayusan. The first item would be DOST Mimaropa conducting hybrid forum on island green energy and eco-industrial park development in Palawan. Representatives from PSTC Palawan, Palawan State University, Western Philippines University, Provincial Government of Palawan, and LGU Bataraza attended the Forum on Island Green Energy Eco-Industrial Park Development Planning Masterclass Series Second Session. The activity was conducted in collaboration with the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, or PESA, and the Western Philippines University on 14 July 2022 in a hybrid setup at the Municipal Lagoon, Barangay Marangas, Bataraza, Palawan, and via Zoom. The Masterclass Series is composed of five phases or sessions which will serve as preparation for the formulation of a project concept paper for the use and reference of the adapters, agents, and enablers of green and eco-industrial park development in the country. The other four sessions are designed for other areas in Palawan that have the potential to engage and adopt the green energy and eco-industrial park framework. The next item would be DOST Region 2 forging partnerships with stakeholders for risk management in the Cagayan River Basin. DOST Region 2 through Regional Director Virginia Bilguera 
convened with Isabella State University and other government agencies and international academic partners from Japan during the Stakeholders Forum on Integrated Flood Risk Management in Cagayan River Basin in Santiago Isabela City on 14 July 2022. The forum aims to strengthen the capacities of policymakers, managers, and practitioners of river basin organizations on flood management through knowledge sharing of new approaches, techniques, methodologies, and good practices from partners here in the Philippines and abroad. Moreover, the forum will also help achieve effective implementation of integrated flood risk management as a component of integrated water resources management. Part of the event is the signing of a memorandum of agreement between Japan Water Agency and the Cagayan River Basin Management Council with DOST, ISU, Kyoto University, and the provincial government of Isabela to strengthen collaboration in fostering integrated water management practices. At ang panghuli para sa kayusan, DOST Region 5 released the financial support for the project Technology and Training Assistance in the Establishment of Eco Park in Vera, Catanduanes through the Provincial s and Office, Catanduanes, last 11 July 2022. Said activity was participated in by staff and personnel of LGU Vera, Catanduanes, headed by Honorable Samuel V. Tainas. The OST-5, through its local grant in aid or GI fund amounting to 1,911,000 pesos is a counterpart of DOST for the procurement of equipment intended for the management of solid waste, particularly on generated plastics and glass wastes. The project aimed to mechanize the processing of collected waste by converting it into valuable products and enhance the knowledge and technical capacity of barangay officials on solid waste management system MRF operation, proper segregation, and others. Narito naman ang mga balitang may kinalaman sa kinabukasan. Next item would be the Philippines winning two bronzes for honorable mentions at the 63rd International Mathematical Olympiad. Six Filipino students took home two bronze medals and four honorable mentions at the 63rd International Mathematical Olympiad, which was held in person for the first time after two years. IMO first-timer Mohamed Moore Kasib of the Philippine Science High School, Central Mindanao, and two-time IMO medalist Rafael Dailan Dalida of the Philippine Science High School main campus led the way for the Philippines, snatching two bronzes after scoring 24 and 23 points respectively. Sari Elijah Bona of the De La Salle University Senior High School, who won a bronze medal last year, received an honorable mention this time, along with Rickson Kaladtan of MGC New Life Christian Academy, Philbert Ephraim Wu of Victory Christian International School, and Enrico Rolando Martinez of the Philippine Science High School main campus. A total of 589 contestants from 104 countries participated in the 63rd International Math Olympiad held in Oslo, Norway, which finally snapped the two years of conducting the competition online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Philippines ranked 55th out of all the participating countries. Since joining the IMO in 1988, the country has won a total of four gold medals, 16 silver medals, 37 bronze medals, and 30 honorable mentions. The next item would be Starbucks installed in the province of North Catabato. DOST Region 12 continues its initiative of bringing Starbucks to the schools and LGUs, particularly in the province of North Catabato, with the aim of empowering students, teachers, and other learners with free SNT based resources. DOST North Cotabata Provincial Director Michael Mayo, representing DOST Regional Director Sami Malawan, has requested the assistance of DOST SDII to conduct the Starbucks mass installation in preparation for the upcoming opening classes in August. The Starbucks team from DOST SDII, with the guidance of Mr. Benji Francisco, has installed Starbucks to 56 beneficiary institutions. 
bulk of the recipients are from elementary and high school, three LGUs and one college institution. The installation activity was held in PSTC North Catamaro office on 19 to 22 July, 2022. The next item would be DOST SEI bringing back in-person science camp to Kamigin Island. After going virtual in 2021, the Science Education Institute's in-person climate science youth camp made its comeback in the province of Kamigin, bringing its trademark deep dive into the world of marine scientists. The science camp, which was held from June 24 to 29, instilled key knowledge and skills that emphasized the youth's role in addressing climate vulnerability in coastal areas, thus the theme, Oceans in a Changing World, Building Resilience in Coastal Communities. Led by DOST SEI's partner, the University of the Philippines Marine Science Institute, or UPMSI, 48 student and teacher campers from 16 public high schools in the province were taught about various concepts about hydrological cycle, climate change, the importance of marine ecosystems, and the services and benefits it provides to coastal communities. In the span of a week, the campers were able to experience the real-life work of marine scientists through interactive learning activities and field exposures, such as water sampling, snorkeling, plankton observation, and coral reef, seagrass, and mangrove identification. At ang panghuli would be the DOST Region 2 and DOST CAR shepherding Tabuk City for the Smarter City Project. As the lead region for the Smarter City Program, the DOST Region 2, in collaboration with DOST CAR, conducted an orientation and exploratory meeting on the DOST Smarter City concept for the city government of Tabuk last 11 July 2022. Kawayan City, as the first smarter city in the Philippines, shared its journey and best practices in implementing the smart solutions that improved the delivery of its services. Moreover, Kawayan City will also plan to assist the Book City in its ISO certification. As part of the meeting, the Kangian Valley Smarter City Belt concept was also presented by DOST to emphasize the enabling support and strategies that the city can adopt in making Tabuk City smarter, sustainable, and future ready. At iyan ang latest updates mula sa Department of Science and Technology. Marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po, Yusek Rene. Natunghen po ninyong kabuuan ng DOST updates para sa nagdang linggo. May namiss ka bang balita? Maaari mo ba itong balik-balikan? Bistahin lamang ang aming website, dostv.ph, o i-download ang DOS TV app sa inyong Android phone para pwede ka manood ng DOS TV report anytime, anywhere. At ngayon naman, Yusik Rene, oras na para sa tanong ng bayan. Para sa unang katanungan, mula po ito kay Shane Pe ng The Philippines Event News TV. Ano-ano po ang mga update sa Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines? The DOST through the Industrial Technology Development Institute recently organized the first planning workshop for the Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines program last July 18 to 19, 2022. It was attended by the different DOST planning councils, PCARD, PCHRD, PSHIRD, and NRCP, and these councils highlighted the VIP projects they intend to have and their initiatives on virology. And nine topics were chosen for the breakout session during the planning, diagnostics, vaccines, therapeutics, basic research, infrastructure, biosafety, policy and the passage of the VIP bill, budget and administration, technology transfer, and international collaboration and networking. Mula naman po ito kay Narisa Piscos ng Happy Morning Show, DWAD 1098 kHz. What is DOST's short to long-term plans for improving our international ranking in terms of STEM proficiency? We are continuously expanding the number of applicants and passers of the Philippine Science High School System to sustain the gains we have. Every year, we are seeing a significant increase in the number of students excelling in STEM. 
We also encourage them to take science courses as their bachelor's degrees. For the Science Education Institute, we are expanding our partnerships with other countries so we can establish long-term exchange programs and scholarships abroad for those who would want to take STEM advanced degrees. Salamat po sa inyong pagsagot at salamat din sa ating mga kaibigan sa media na nagpadala ng kanilang katanungan ngayong araw. Yusek Rene, baka may nais po kayo papatid sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Maraming pong salamat sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Alam niyo po na bising busy ang, uh, ang DOST sa iba't ibang mga programa. At uh, syempre, lately, uh, kung nabalitaan nyo, ay nagkaroon ng malakas na paglindol sa Northwest uh, Luzon, sa Abra. At siyempre ang isang ahensya ng DOST na busy ay ang DOST FIVOX na kailangan magbigay ng patuloy na impormasyon patungkol sa lindol at pagpapadala ng mga tao uh, para mabigyan ng uh, guia or guide ang local governments sa pamamagitan ng uh, pag-aaral kung anong nangyari at ano ang mga posible pang mga panganib na mangyayari sa isang lugar dahil sa patuloy na aftershock at posible ring interaksyon ng ulan sa mga uh, na pagalaw ng mga lupain at ang uh, landslide nga po ang problema. At uh, sa iba namang mga larangan, patuloy po ang ating ahensya sa ating programa Mapaunlad, ang ating bayan sa pamagitan ng job creation through science, technology, and innovation, sa food security, at syempre, uh, ang kailangan nating uh, maging long term ay paano matulungan ang ating mga industry sectors. Siguro po sa mga susunod na report ay magbibigay tayo ng very specific na mga programa ng DOST patungkol doon sa agenda ng kasalukuyang administrasyon at mga nabanggit na mga priorities sa State of the Nation address ni President Bongbong Marcos. Maraming salamat po, Yusek Rene, at salamat po muli sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Mas marami pang balita mula sa mundo na agam at teknolohiya ang ating pag-uusapan. Kaya tutok lamang kayo tuwing biyernes, alas 4 ng hapon dito sa DOS TV Facebook page at YouTube channel. Palagi rin tumutok sa mga websites at FB pages ng ating mga ayansya ng DOST para sa latest happenings nila at mga events para mas lumawak pa ang ating kalaman tungkol sa iba't ibang R&D projects at mga inovasyon. Bistahin din ang DOST Philippines FB page para di mahuli sa mga nakalinya activities ng DOST at i-download ang DOST app sa inyong mga cellphones upang up-to-date kayo sa mga balita sa mundo ng siyensya at teknolohiya saan man kayo naroon. Ako po si Onin Miranda. Ito ang mga balita may kinalaman sa agam, teknolohiya at inovasyon, hatid ang pagbabago para sa maunlad na mundo. At ako po ang inyong lingkod, Undersecretary Renato Yusulidum Jr. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay dito sa DOST Report.